And so anytime you're asked for the probability, you just need to count how many favorable um, choices there are and put that over how many there are possible and then always reduce it. But it would never reduce to just a number. For instance, if you had a, a six out of two, you wouldn't say three. It would have to be six out of two would have to be a three out of one. Huh? You can't reduce it to just a whole number. Okay. You always have to have it as a fraction. Okay, whether it's upside down or not. Well, I'm just saying if this happened to be the number, it doesn't okay. matter what oh, it is. Okay. But I'm saying regardless to what it is, it can never just reduce to a, a whole number. number. It okay. always has to be something out of something chance. Okay. Okay. I can't imagine when that would be it, but in case, it would always have to be two numbers there. Okay. Any questions about probability? All right, let's do some just to make sure on page 214. Number one, what is the probability that the arrow will land on one? Uh, one out of five. One out of five. So oh, it, cannot, yeah. it can never just be one number, okay. Mm -hmm. What is the probability that the arrow will land on one or five? Two mm -hmm. out of five. Two out of five. Okay. Okay. Let's look on page 215. At the bottom, exercise six, what is the probability of picking a king? Which is one out of three. So you have to always reduce it, so it's a one out of three chance. Okay? They'll ask questions like he had, oh, page 216, here's one. Ted's sock drawer contains six pairs of blue socks, three pairs of black socks, one pair of white socks, and two pairs of gray socks. Each pair is rolled together. Okay. What do you think the first thing you might want to do when you read all that? Add up all the Add them all up. Because you know you're going to need the total. Okay. And if they're talking about colored socks, you know it's going to be a probability question. See what I'm saying? Some of those key words and key things will let you know what type of problem it is so that you, your mind can gear to that type of problem. So you know if it's a probability question, you have to know the total. And so what is the total pairs of socks in that drawer? Okay, there are 12. So if Ted chooses one pair of socks without looking, what is the probability that he will pick a pair of black socks? Three, 12. Three, 12. One. one what, what? Is it one of four? One, of, one out of four. Okay. So that means if he closes his eyes and picks four times, one of them should be a black pair. You can go home and try that. Mm -hmm. See if it works. The first pair of socks that Ted picked was gray. If he does not return the socks to the drawer, what is the probability that the next pair of socks he picks will be gray? Oh, yeah, good. That's right. One out of 11, because now he's taken that pair out. Mm -hmm. So there's one less gray, but there's also one less pair. Mm -hmm. So the total changed and the number of, of um, possible um, answers for gray. Okay? Very good. So you can see how that kind of works, the probability. It's just a matter of reading it carefully, uh, getting your total, and then knowing uh, that you have to reduce. Okay. What we want to talk about now is statistical analysis. Lots of times we want to analyze numbers. They take numbers, they count numbers for all kinds of things. They want to know how many people voted this way, how many people wear red boots to school, you know, <laughs> all kinds of things they need to know. Um, manufacturers use it a lot because they need to figure out trends. They need to know you know, if the trend is going up, should, should we make more of them, or is it going down? Should we make fewer of them, or sell them for less, or whatever? So data can tell us a lot of things. We have to use data a lot in this program to justify funding. You know, we'll say these many people will do a certain, have a certain outcome. These many people will come, these many people will 
do better on the TAPE test at the end of the session. These meaning people will pass the official practice test and all of that. And so people get funding based on that because they say, well now, is that a wise use of our money? You're gonna get these many outcomes for this much money, is that a wise use of the money? And so we have to justify that it is. Um, but data is used for all kinds of things and, and sometimes they report the mean of something, sometimes they report of the, of the list of numbers, sometimes they report the mode and sometimes the range, all different things, the median. Uh, a lot of times, you know, numbers can say whatever you want them to say. So a lot of times, if the average, if they take the average of numbers and that doesn't really give the answer that they want, sometimes they'll take the mode, the middle number, and that's what we're gonna talk about. So you just need to know what those terms mean because they are used um, and you need to know what it's all about and you need to be able to answer questions when you're asked about those things. They're not difficult, but it's something that you do have to memorize. They talk about the mean, 